Absolutely. Good morning, Heather and Rob. And people are definitely taking that warning seriously. They are attempting to get food. They're attempting to get water, get gas, and get out of town. Take a look at this gas station. People have been here waiting for hours. Uh, the women that you're seeing right there have been here since 2.30 this morning. They were told gas would get here around 3. Others we're hearing have been told gas would get here around 4. So far, we haven't seen any gas deliveries. That's what people are waiting for. They say they're going to wait here as long as possible because they have to get out of town. Uh, you'll notice over here, if we can go over, they're already boarded up here at the gas station, and that's a scene that you're seeing play out all across this area. As we drove from the airport to our hotel yesterday, you could just see everything was boarded up. And if you take a look at some video right now, you'll see everybody is doing a bit of the same. They're boarding up, they're trying to get supplies, they're trying to get water. In fact, we went to a Walmart yesterday and they were completely sold out of, Wal uh, of water days in advance. So people are definitely taking this seriously. Let's come over here for a second right now. How are you? Good. How are you? What's your name? Hannah. Hannah, how long have you been waiting? Um, I guess like an hour and a half already. And are you guys trying to get gas to get out of town? Um, we actually don't know yet. We're, we're still looking on the news as to how the weather is going to come up, um, you know, so more, for more accurate direction as to what the weather is going to be like for the next few days. And as I was getting ready to come on the air, I heard you talking to our producer that you guys have been having a hard time finding water. Yeah, like we've been through a lot of um, grocery stores and convenience stores. Um, like everyone, like everything's gone, like water, um, canned goods, uh, bread, you know. You, like necessities. Are you surprised that everything's gone this early? Um, well, not really, because um, a lot of people have been warning like uh, to stock up already. So it's pretty much the the immediate reaction, you know. Have you lived through a hurricane here before? No, I think yeah, this is my first time. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you for talking to us. No and you plan to wait for a while until the gas comes? Yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see. Everyone just sticking it out right now because if you want to get out of here, you have to get gas. Uh, everyone, as you can see, as she just said, keeping an eye on where this storm is going to go, including President Trump. We're getting ready to respond to Hurricane Irma. We'll work together to help save lives, protect families and support those in need. So, guys, I mean, nobody knows how long they're going to be out here waiting to be able to get gas. The gas station right across the street from us, actually, that's the one we first saw when we pulled up. That's shut down. The lights are on, but the pumps have bags over them. So that's a scene that you're uh, seeing around here pretty much everywhere you go. I'll send it back to you guys. Yeah, very common scene in a hurricane. All right, yeah. thanks so much, Jillian. Mm -hmm.